Have you seen Naruto? This is EA Sports coverage of the PGA Tour. Set in the Sonoran Desert and surrounded by the majestic McDowell Mountains, we're at the stadium course at TPC Scottsdale in Arizona. Hello again and welcome Rich Loder alongside Frank Nabilo, set to bring you all the action for today's event. Frank, when you think about the TPC Scottsdale, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? The golf course has been radically changed in 2014, but it still hasn't lost its luster. Really, it's just been updated like the game itself for these young, strong players of the modern era. And now we go down to the first hole. On the first tee, our featured golfer, Frank, has to be brimming with confidence. They have to feed off the round from the previous day, Rich. It was a very, very good performance. And we're going to soon find out, see what these opening swings are like. Well, that's got to be 300 yards, isn't it? Second shot. Good look at the green. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a formality now. Getting set now over the putt. And a great start. Par for second hole, a little bit longer than the first, this one at 442 yards. Yeah, they've added a new tee, changed the bunkering down the right side, still a semi-blind tee shot, a hole that bends softly to the left side. The bunkering around this green has changed, still it requires a very precise tee shot. Well, you really move that one, 320 yards and in the fairway. Slight waggle, relaxed arms, ready to go. Hide the flag stick from that man. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Not a real hard game, is it? Birdie birdie to open. Now on to the third, first par five on the course here at TPC Scottsdale. Yeah, the length of the hole hasn't really changed. Uh, used to be two fairway bunkers down the left, now there's only one. Still a hazard that runs down the right side. A strategic hole if you can't make this par five and two. And a brand new green that has been completely changed. Second shot. That was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Putt for Eagle coming up. And the computer dials this one up at 26 feet. Well, you could see he thought he had that. It looked in the whole way until the end. Well, you couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. Frank, this is the kind of start every player wants. 
Yeah, swinging it well. Certainly hitting the ball in the right place there. And, uh, yep, good thing, too. He's actually putting well. Really nice mix of holes to start here at TPC Scottsdale. The two fours and then the par five. Now our first par three. Just a little over 180 yards, Frank. Plays a little downhill, longer than what it once was. Green is radically different. It used to be deep, now it's wide. And the bunkering, of course, is visually totally different from what it used to be. Frank, not just a player, but an artist. Just beautiful work right there. The only thing I can say, Rich, is that was Seve-esque. Good job right there, now making a move and setting himself up for, who knows, a good weekend run, maybe at another title. The former college standout has been excellent today. Now it's right in his wheelhouse, good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. Good looking shot right here. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Ready to tee off now at the sixth. This is a dogleg left. And another hole that's being stiffened by bunkers on both the left and the right side, uh, really giving you the decision on what club to hit. Should you be bold or should you be smart? Hmm, what a drive. Just tattooed that. Frank, this is an important approach shot because our featured player was really good early, a little bit shaky of late, this is a point in time where you need to get it back. Yeah, you almost need to stop. Just stand still for a second. Uh, almost just flush it out because at the moment you're starting to look right and left at the trouble. Let's get back to what worked. Let's start looking where we want the ball to go, where the flag is, and start going there. Just five feet left. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. On to the par three seventh, 215 yards from that back tee box, Frank. This hole hasn't really changed, still has that V-shaped green where it's very narrow in the front. Uh, a high-flying shot in here that carries that front edge, and you'll find the further and further you go back there, the more receptive, and that green starts to widen. Well, that's just a tee to green clinic, a seminar on how to do it the right way. Every single green in regulation. Birdie try again here today. Had a nice birdie on this hole yesterday. Count that, that's a birdie. Now here at the par four eight, slight dogleg to the left, Frank. And this dogleg's made more severe now by the addition of two bunkers. Uh, this was a bunkerless hole off the tee in years gone by, but those two bunkers certainly make this a sharper dogleg. And because it forces the player to go down the right side, adds length to the already long 475 yards. I mean, he just blasted it down the fairway, well over 325 yards. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. It should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. 
Had a birdie here yesterday in their close. Great opportunity for another one. And getting ready for the putt. Continues to roll it very well all day long. Here at the par four ninth hole, Frank, what's the strategy off the tee? Well, there's one bunker down the uh, right side that you have to be very wary of. 325 yards to carry that, so it's very much in play and just over 290 to reach it. Ideally, you have to go left about that down the left side. But uh, really, this is a second shot hole because this green is not very deep. Wow, that is a monster drive down there, about 315 yards. Chance to get it close here. This is just a superb performance. Great round to this point, Frank, and you can really see that reflected in his mood today. Yeah, it just looks too easy. Uh, swinging the club beautifully. Ball's going exactly where he, where he wants it to. He's not trying to take too many risks. So consequently, he's getting birdie opportunity after birdie opportunity. Terrific golf shot. And now, that for an easy birdie. Just a couple of feet. Made it. Getting set to start the back nine here at TPC Scottsdale. We're on the tee at number 10. A dogleg right par four, and if you teed off the first, this is going to be the first true dogleg right that you'll face. Uh, a little bunker put down the left side. Ideally, you're going to have to play left and short of that, which is um, going to leave you something in the vicinity of 150 yards to a green that should be very receptive. Nice position, short grass, second shot. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Frank, we have said it over and over. Another birdie. On to the par four 11th hole. Frank, what's the best play here? No bunkers really here to worry about, Rich, so you have to pick something in the distance as a good line. Something a little bit away from the water that protects the left side of this fairway. And uh, it's adjacent to the 15th hole, the other par 5 coming home. So a good drive, perhaps with a little bit of cut off the tee. And that should shape up nicely for this long par 4. Second shot. Good look at the green. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, so. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. Now we'll have this for birdie. Birdie here yesterday. This putt again for birdie. That was cruel. That looked like it was certainly going in. Good try. Just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for Pop. This one just requires a little bit of focus. In for Pop. Twelfth hole now, looking at 192 yards, par three. Won't quite play that distance because that tee shot uh, is, is considerably downhill. But you really have to be cognizant of the wind if it's coming off the left because it easily brings that water into play down the right should that tee shot just start moving with the wind. This one looks right on point. Good clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. Now it's that sneaky distance. Yeah. 
Oh, hello there. Really nice putt. To the par 5 13th here at TPC Scottsdale. Lots of danger left and right of this tight fairway, Frank. This hole has really changed over the years. It used to be a split fairway. That no longer exists. That bunker you can see down the left side, which you can't carry, really defines the left side of this hole. Water's still in play down the right, and a uh, big change here is the bunkering along the left front and left side of this green. So you can't just blaze away and comfortably expect to hit 13-2 and two anymore. Now the second shot to the par five. Look out, Frank. I think he flushed that one. Oh, this is this is going, going, gone. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Yeah. That's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Always love to hear the sound at the bottom of the cup. Par 5, 13, Frank, what kind of scoring opportunity is this? Well, Any time you get on a par 5, obviously birdies and eagles come to mind. 13's been changed a little bit over the years. The split fairway's gone now, it's just one fairway. Water in play, bunker on the left side, they certainly define this fairway. And they've toughened up the front and left side of this par 5 uh, green. The longer hitter, the high ball hitter, still you get a reward at 13. Excellent drive right there, Frank. Circa 310. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. Oh, this looks like it's going to find the target. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Man, I just pushed it. Well, that hurts. Just dwindling the holes down. Piles are fine right now. All right, Frank, now the fun begins. We are teed up at the par 5 15th hole. Plenty to talk about here. Yeah, the fairway down the left side is anything other than straight. It's more like a shipwreck, the raggedness of it. And that water in play, well, if you do find one on the fairway, you can sort of always wave across to the people that are walking down the 11th hole. Find the fairway, you can reach this par 5 and 2. A little bit of an island looking green there, bunker on the left, and also another bunker just short right. But a fairway missed here. Well, you can rack up 5, 6, 7. We've seen all sorts of scores here at 15. This one's looking good. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Shouldn't be a problem here. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Down to the 16th hole, and Frank, what makes this so special is the walk underneath the grandstands. It's the gladiator coming into the Coliseum. That's a perfect description, Rich, and that's why this hole is unlike any other hole on the PGA Tour. The atmosphere that the players feel on that tee, they cannot prepare for, they can't experience anywhere else. This is a once-in-a-lifetime bar for it. And when you look at it from up high with the blink view, it sort of appears as though they drive Fenway Park or Wrigley Field right into the desert. And this is a sellout crowd. I mean, this is 20,000 fans, and there's, there's nothing like it. There's not a single hole in golf that has more fans on it than the 16th here at TPC Scottsdale. So close to a hole in one right there.
continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Frank, 16 was fun, 17 is always exciting here at TPC Scottsdale. You've got to be careful because uh, that water that sort of goes around the left side of the green, if that ball's coming in with a little bit of hook, it's just gonna keep going left. There's the one bunker you really have to focus on. That's the one in the middle of the fairway. 280 will carry that. Chances are the ball can run onto the green. It takes a brave man really to try and fly this ball all the way there. It's not really needed because there's always another 10 or 15 yards of run. Factor that in. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Birdie try again here today. And it drops for birdie. Par 4, 18th, and Frank, if you are trying to win the tournament out here at TPC Scottsdale, this is all you want down the stretch. It is. There's a short bunker there, obviously, for the recreational player to respect. Three bunkers down the right side protect it, and that new bunkering um, situation down the left there to stop the attack of a Bubba Watson or a J.B. Holmes. Now this tee shot is going to have to be respected, and the green, too, is anything other than flat. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is your green light special. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. What a display of shot making this has been, Frank. Oh, that incredible <laughs> approach shot there. The easiest of birdies coming up. Good putt. So all the scores have been posted for round number two, and look who is on top of the leaderboard, Frank. Yeah, with two very solid rounds of golf, uh, key right now, just stay out of your own way and keep it up. Uh, the pressure will start to build. We know that as you get closer to the end of this tournament. Naruto. Over and out.